Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to use the Natural Beauty Palette from Too Faced. So it came in a collection and the collection was I have way more makeup at home. And if I had this with me as I'm walking around or traveling, that's the truth. I have a makeup room. <laughs> so anyways, I did want to break out, there's three palettes in there, so I wanted to break out all three and try them. I woke up this morning, I'm feeling a little rough around the edges, my eyes are watering, I can't stop coughing or sneezing, and my voice has changed. This is not good. But I will say, this palette is staying in place regardless of what my eyes keep trying to do. So absolutely beautiful colors. I use every color in the palette except for Pretty Pecan, so you're going to be able to see that. I did like these palettes. They blended well. A lot of pigmentation and um, I wouldn't say a lot of fallout, but uh, enough fallout you're definitely wanna, going to want to tap that brush a few times to kick it off. Um, I didn't tap my brush enough when I first started and it was like, ooh, I have a lot on. So I actually had to uh, go back in, tap a few more times. And then that's about when I started getting into a good flow with this palette. So the palette was fun to use. I think um, Too Faced does a great job with marketing. They have the cutest products ever, which makes you want to purchase them. This palette, I would say, is one of their better ones. Um, consistent, I'm not having issues at all like I do sometimes with their not so great quality palettes, but this one I, I feel is one of their better ones so far. So I'm hoping the other two actually stand up the same. That would be great. Last year's Christmas collection was kind of hit and miss. Some of the palettes worked, some of them didn't. Um, so far, everything that I've used in this holiday collection has worked so I'm down to two more little palettes and we'll see if they hit a home run for all of their Christmas items this year versus last year so really excited they're down to the last two um, on a scale of 9 and 10 where would I put this little palette so I would give it a, a 10 I love the packaging the packaging is absolutely cute and I love dogs and they put a dog on there so um, too too cute there is not a mirror on the inside of these three palettes and that's okay um i although if i was traveling having a mirror right there would be amazing so that's so maybe it's a nine and a half uh, the colors in here are fantastic it is a very natural looking palette this brown called beethoven is my jam it it goes with my skin tone fantastic the warm my heart as a blush not just warm my heart it warm my cheeks and really really loved it so if you want to see how I created this eye look stay tuned however I did not do my face face I didn't do it I didn't do my false eyelashes on camera um, but I did use the Eyelore London Dramatic in number 202. It's a double layered lash with airy finish, full and wearable. They're supposed to be um, lightweight and reusable. I will say I have used recently um, an eyelash that is this dramatic and when they say theirs is lightweight, really it is. I put these on and I don't feel a weight on it like I did with another brand. So I'm actually liking that. It's, you know, a little bit, it, they are dramatic and who doesn't like a dramatic eyelash on occasion? Um, I had done this, you know, dark smoky eye, so to speak, with this palette and then I did my own eyelashes and it was like, wah, wah, wah. We're missing something so pretty. So I had to put some butterflies, as I call them, on my eyes. And these are dramatic over the top and exactly what I needed for this eye look. So if you liked this look or you're curious to see how the colors blend, you're in the right place, so stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna use the Natural Beauty Palette from Too Faced. And when it says Natural Beauty, it has a ton of natural colors. And I love natural colors. 
All right, so we are gonna put on the cheek and the cheek is called a warm my heart. Well, okay, let's see if it works. It may not have warmed my heart, but it warmed my cheeks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So now that the, we got the cheek warming done, we are gonna jump into the eyes. But let's start with, oh dear. Somebody's, oh, oh, did you see that? And my husband wonders why my desk is so dusty. Oh dear is right. Let me see if I can't buff that down a bit. I don't know what's wrong with my voice this morning. I sound like a man. I'm gonna pick up some an angelic and go right up underneath this brow. Today's December 1st. I figured oh, I'll pick back up the holiday palettes. I bought some like two months ago. And they've just been sitting there. I've got to curve back my buying of stuff because I have, like, I find stuff I really like and I get all excited. And then I purchase it and then it never gets used or it takes months to use. So I think I need to just buy, like, one or two things. I'm not quite sure if that's possible, but, you know, anything's possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my eye right there. And my voice is absolutely driving me crazy. Usually when it does this, it means I'm getting sick. I don't have time to be sick. I've got new employees starting. I haven't taken any, well, yeah, I really haven't taken vacation this year either. And it's the end of the year and I've got all this vacation stockpile and no time to take it. One of those things, I guess if you snooze, you lose. I didn't mean to snooze. I just was really, really extremely over the top busy this year. And there was no time to take vacation. Okay, so Five Golden Rings, cute name. And I like that it's not a bright white. It's almost like, the word cashmere comes to mind, like a pretty cashmere sweater. Or maybe it's the snow at night. Not quite bright in the sun, but in the moonlight. Okay, this is where I'm confused. I'm not sure if I want to go with Pretty Pecan or Slay My Name. <laughs> Slay My Name just sounds so freaking cute. I think I'm going to start with Warm My Heart as base. And maybe that'll help me determine what I'm going to do next. So when all else fails, pick up the blush for an eyeshadow, right? I think by putting on the blush, that kind of got me into the Slay My Name. Slay my name, slay my name. <laughs> it really is too early to be trying to make so many jokes that probably aren't funny to anyone else but me. Okay, this is Bay Tovin. Oh, Bay Tovin is a great brown. Oh, mommy loves, mommy loves. You know how you can put on certain colors and you're like, oh, I like I like this color combination, but it doesn't really, it's not speaking to me. Mm. I'm going to pick more of Warm My Heart. This brown is not that. It's like the perfect brown for my skin. Why did I wait so long to use this? Slay my name, slay my name. Okay, now you guys really know why I um, might not be in the musical industry. Not to mention I can't play an instrument, nor can I hold a tune. I'm actually tone deaf. Not that you could figure that out. Okay, so we're gonna pick up Slay My Name, and I'm gonna try to not sing it anymore for you. 
so that you don't instantaneously deny my channel. Can you block a channel? I know you can unsubscribe, but I don't want you to do either of that just because I can't sing. Some people in life are given gifts. I'm still looking for my gift, <laughs> but singing wasn't it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm just stupid. And I'm totally not sure how I'm gonna do that lower lid. It's like my eyes are just not being nice. So I'm gonna pick up the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum. This color is in Spice. Let me sharpen this first, shall we? Really like how Marc Jacobs theirs actually twist up. I am not good. I'm not good at sharpening things. It's I tear the hell out of stuff. So when I get stuff I need to sharpen, I instantaneously get insecure. Okay, the bad part. Ooh, the good part is, oh my gosh, look at how well that matched. Again, that's makeup geek spice. The bad part is um, I'm really now concerned that I'm getting sick because I, by the time you guys see this video, I have edited out God knows how many sneezes. My eyes are dripping and my voice is off. This is really not a good sign. I seriously don't have time for this. Technically, I have three new employees. One has been with me three weeks. I don't have time to get sick. I don't have time to take vacation. So if I don't have time to have fun, I sure as heck don't have time to be messing with sickness. Oh, okay, I'm gonna shut up. Probably not. I'm gonna go with a creamier eyeliner this morning. And this is uh, the lacquer liner 24 hour infallible this one's an espresso because I love me some L'Oreal they do one of the most perfect cream eyeliners and I learned that from one of my friends named Vicki she was our admin person for our regional president I got to work with her for years in Georgia Hi, Vicki. I don't know if you know I even do YouTube. But that woman, oh my God, she was so funny. Do you ever work with people that are just, they get you? Well, first of all, I have to assume that y'all have twisted humor like me. But the great part is she would always laugh at my bad jokes. Which only made me, you know, throw out a few more bad jokes. Because... I like to laugh, so I think I'm funny. And she would just humor me. And if I was having a bad day or I was irritated, she also um, would be there for me and make me laugh with her bad jokes. My eye can officially, or eyes, see that's the other thing. Usually when I'm having an allergy kind of problem, it's just my left eye. No, it's both eyes this morning. That's another bad sign for me. <laughs> and what makes it worse is my husband is going out of town. We have animals at two different houses. Which means I'm gonna have to do everything while he's gone and if i'm sick oh my gosh how am i gonna do all this work take care of a farm and animals and i hope he doesn't watch this video he won't he's already feeling guilty about leaving which is silly i love when he does man trips okay pretty pecan so he is going to vegas for two weeks which i think is wonderful I'm one of those females that believe that to have a great relationship that you need to recognize in a relationship that you were two people before you ever got married and recognize that 
it is okay for women to go out and hang out with their friends or it's fantastic when a husband goes and hangs out with his guy friends um, because that's what makes things you appreciate each other on a different level when you're not hooked to each other's hips and to me that is like the secret in life thank you you're gonna eat this morning i'm gonna try yes no you won't okay there's no try just do okay i throw in some eyebrow gel he tells me when he wants to go out with his friends whether it's to a concert go to Vegas whatever I'm like okay have fun when are you going and when will you be home usually it's only gone to Vegas for once so you know one he always goes in December at some time and he goes for a week but he just not having to work um, anymore so he's semi retired so this time he was like so how long can I go to Vegas and I said how long do you want to go so basically he said he wanted to go for two maybe a little over two weeks so I said all right just throw it on my calendar when are you leaving so I can take you to the airport and when do I need to pick you up and then last week or no just a couple days ago one of his friends from Georgia flew in and they went to a concert together and I told him, I said, I just need you to be safe. So if you need to get a hotel room, don't drive home, be safe. So I was telling that story at work and they're like, my wife wouldn't do that. I said, I am sorry. I'm really sorry. And when he comes home, he like misses me um, after he's been on a vacation or a boys trip, he's super happy. And it's not just about him because I do the same thing. When I need a girl's trip or I need a break, I'll send him my flight itinerary and when I'm leaving and let him know where I'm going, which is usually to my aunt's house in California. Hi, Aunt Lori, I miss you. This year I've got no time with my Aunt Lori. She's my little partner in crime. Oh my God, she is so funny. And we just absolutely laugh together. But anyways, I call it refilling my tank. So I'll go to California, hang out with my friends, cause I grew up there. I'll see as many friends that's available. And then of course my Aunt Lori's with me and we are totally laughing the whole time, just being nuts and making memories. And then when I come home, I am relaxed I'm rejuvenated and to me I make a better wife and leader at work so I don't know I just totally I'm just totally into sometimes you just need a break and it is okay to take one all right I'm gonna pick up the Morphe <laughs> I just looked at the name of this this is hilarious it's called clingy Sometimes I'll actually fly into Vegas before I go to California to see my grandpa. Oh my God, my grandpa is hilarious. He goes every morning at five in the morning to drink coffee with his friends that are retired. Sometimes he will go to the Y afterwards to fly a little drone planes and they try to fight each other in this this air my grandpa might be known as the flying ace because he does take down other people's planes and they have to hide from their wives how much they're spending in replacement parts because he's just a brat and well that's probably where I get it Okay, so now I'm going to go finish or do something with my hair. I don't think I'm going to do much with it today. It's Friday. I'm exhausted. and But I'm loving this makeup. I'm loving this makeup. So I'm going to be right back. Actually, I think I'm even going to put on lip gloss. 
look at the lip gloss. It's Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. Mm. Ooh. I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really, really enjoyed using this Too Faced Natural Beauty, although I don't look very natural. Not sure about beauty, but it did the best it could with what it had to use. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I um, do have some quirky humor, so I want to apologize in advance if you're a new subscriber. For anyone that's my old subscribers, I hope you don't mind my quirky personality, because that about sums it up. But anyways, I'm so glad you joined today and watched the video. If you have any comments or questions, please put those below. Feel free to ask whatever you like. If you have any recommendations you would like to give me to try, uh, feel free to do that. I enjoy, I really love putting together different makeup looks and trying different products and giving you guys my honest opinion. Although I hate when people say that. They have to give it an honest opinion. I hate when they put that in their YouTube videos for the hitter. Blah, 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 product, honest opinion. Kind of makes you wonder, is the rest of the videos that they've done not honest? But um, the good part is that I buy all my own stuff, I guess, so you definitely know what you're getting from me is not slighted by anyone giving me anything. Um, my makeup's all been bought by my own self, so when I do have an opinion, yeah, no, it's definitely mine. <laughs> Anyways, sometimes I just crack myself up. I'm sorry. I laugh at my own jokes, which people make me make fun of me for, but I'm secure enough to handle it because I'm the funniest person I know. So anyways, enough about that. I hope you guys all have a great day and you have a choice to make it a great one. So let's go do it. Until next time.